Hello everyone. Welcome to a series of lectures on anatomy. I am Tanmay Acharya and today I'll be talking about the skeletal system. Here you can see the male and the female skeletal system in this AI generated 3D image. Today's topic will talk about the definition, the types of bones, function of the bones, parts of the skeletal system, axial skeletal system and the appendicular skeletal system. We know there are 206 bones in the human body. The bones are basically a connective tissue which, which have calcium in that and they also give rise to the red blood cells which are found in the bone marrow. What are the types of bones in our body? There are flat bones which are found in the sternum, irregular bones which are found in the vertebra, sesamoid bones which is found on the patella on the knee, long bone which is the longest bone in our body called the femur, it is found on the thigh and the cuneiforms. These are short bones which are basically found on the foot. So these are basically the types of bones found in our body. And now what are the functions of the skeletal system? So to talk about number one, it gives supports to our body. So it does not allow our body to collapse. The bones basically are the bony structure which gives support to our body. Number two, it gives protection. The bones protect our vital organs like the skull protecting our brain, the ribs, sternum protecting our heart and the lungs. Number three, it allows us to move because it works in coordination with the muscles and allows us to move. Number four, it is a factory of red blood cells. Bone marrow, which is found inside the bone, is a factory which gives rise to the red blood cells. And number five, it stores calcium and releases calcium to the body. Now, what are the parts of that skeletal system? Bones are the major part of the skeletal system. It is also composed of cartilages, tendons and ligaments. I will not be talking much about cartilage, tendons and ligaments in this lecture. What are axial and appendicular skeletal system? Axial skeletal system basically consists of the bones in the skull, vertebrae column and sternum and the ribs. There are totally 80 bones in the axial skeletal system. Appendicular skeletal system has 126 bones which composes of the bones in the upper and the lower limb including the pelvic girdle. Now, you might get scared seeing this skeletal but it is very important to make you understand the various bones found in the axial and appendicular skeletal system. There are 22 bones in the skull. Then there is the sternum which has three parts which I will not be describing now. Then there are 24 ribs. What are the various types of ribs? I will talk to you in the uh, following lectures. There are 33 vertebrae. So if you add up all this, there are total 80 bones in the axial skeletal system. Appendicular skeletal system has 4 bones in the shoulder, 6 bones in the arms, 54 bones in the hands, 2 hip bones which form the pelvic girdle, 8 bones in the legs and 52 bones in the feet. You add then there is a total of 126. You add both of them, so we have total of 206 bones. Now, this video is basically to make you understand what are the bones found in the axial skeletal system. Here you can see the skull which is getting highlighted, then the vertebrae column which is also getting highlighted now, thorax which consists of the ribs and the stern. So this, these are the parts of the axial skeletal system. Now we'll go to the appendicular skeletal system which consists of the bones in the upper limbs and the bones in the lower limbs. The, now you can see a lateral view, anterior view and posterior view again showing the skull, vertebral column, thorax which consists of the ribs and sternum which are parts of the axial skeletal system and the appendicular skeletal system which consists of the bones of the upper limbs and the bones of the lower limbs. Thank you for being patient and seeing this, watching this video. I'll ask you again to subscribe to our channel. You can comment and uh, basically 
say if the video was nice or you want any changes and you can connect to us through AAT Learning Hub. Thank you again.